start unifica ce la facciamo? This is Chiara and today we're gonna talk about 10 different expressions that you can use if you want to sound more like a native in Italian. Are you ready? Let's start! Number one, avere un debole per. Literally to have a weakness for something or for someone. It could mean to be a sucker for, to have a thing for, to have a soft spot for someone. For example, you can say ho un debole per i dolci o un debole per lui. Number two, mettersi insieme. This is a very cute expression. It means to start dating someone exclusively. I don't know if this happened to you, but when we were small kids in school, boys used to write small love notes for girls and they would ask, Ti vuoi mettere con me? Do you want to be my girlfriend? Possible answer were three. Yes, no, or maybe. That's very cute. Let me know in the comments if you've ever received a love letter like that. Number three, mettere il naso fuori. Fuori literally means to put your nose outside. So it means to go outside. Say something like, è da giorni che non metto il naso fuori. In days that I haven't been outside. Number four. Again, about the nose. Prendere per il naso. Means to uh, lead someone by the nose meaning to deceive someone. When you start dating someone, maybe a friend of yours sees something shady there, she could say, attenzione, guarda che ti sta prendendo per il naso. Number five, l'ultima goccia che fa traboccare il vaso, or you can say just uh, l'ultima goccia. Similar expression to the English, uh, the last straw. The last drop that overflows the vase. That's a very nice expression. And uh, there are a series of stressing events, and then there is the very last one that is, in fact, the last straw. Number six, siamo proprio. Literally, we are not there, but the meaning is like uh, it's unacceptable. Imagine if you are in school and your teacher is not happy with your results. Si vede che non hai studiato, non ci siamo proprio. Number seven, attaccare bottone. Literally, to sew a button. It has actually two meanings. It can mean to start talking to someone that you don't know, attaccare un bottone con qualcuno. Or it means to start talking endlessly and until they're bored to death and I just wish they'd never met you. Oh, guarda, c'è Chiara, cambiamo strada, altrimenti ci attacca un bottone che non finisce più. Look, there's Chiara, let's change streets, or she will, you know, start talk endlessly. Number eight, avere le braccia corte, or le braccine. The length of your arm is short, so you cannot reach your wallet in the pocket. As you got it, it means that you're, you're a cheap person. So for example, you could say something like ah, pago sempre io perché lui o lei ha le braccine corte. Number nine, arrampicarsi sugli specchi. To climb mirrors. Almost something quite impossible to do, right? In English, we could say like uh, to grab at straws or to argue that black is white or that white is black. Someone is trying to find excuses or arguments or explanation for something that, that they have done, but actually they are wrong, but they are trying anyway. If you see a friend of yours doing that, you could say, smettila di arrampicarti sugli specchi. I can see you. 
yes that you can do also like that like with the old uh, yeah i know i actually like doing that you know you basically mimic uh, your friend that is trying to climb the mirror and uh, is falling down number 10 the new piccolo this is a very cute expression it means in my own small way it maybe you don't have uh, the ability to do something but you really want to do it you know anyway so you say nel mio piccolo like for example uh, nel mio piccolo cerco di fare la differenza in my own small way i try to make a difference and that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you soon bye bye <laughs>